Yo, what is up my dudes? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a good day and today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. It's more going to be for advice, mainly towards JP players. Because I'm going to be talking about something that you currently do not have on, uh, on Global. So uh, maybe this video isn't for you. But for JP players, one very important thing that you got to be aware of at this time, of course, is the uh, your current box CP. Because now, obviously, this has been up for, for, for quite a bit, but we do have buffs for your box cp depending on how high it is you will get a hp buff that applies everywhere in the game except for when you are submitting cp to your guild this buff is extremely important me for example i have 3.5 million uh, it took me uh, quite a few days uh, roughly about five days of working on gear for all my units to get here 10.5 percent hp buff that applies to me everywhere training cave pve pvp guild boss it applies virtually everywhere this is so incredibly important you are but you basically have well with 3.5 million at least you basically have hp food on without actually using hp food oh see as we go down you can see uh, a 50 uh, 50k cp uh, cc box cc whatever the fuck 1.5 uh, percent as you go up the percentage increases until you hit certain intervals usually it's a 1.5 percent increase some intervals it goes up a bit higher than that but uh yeah wait no it's all just a 1.5 yeah yeah yeah. it's all just a 1.5 1.5 3 4.5 6 yeah yeah it's just a constant 1.5 percent hp increase per milestone that you reach and this is just so incredibly important man this can give you such an edge everywhere it just makes life easier everywhere only thing is it is pretty hard to work on all of this uh let me break it down to you right the main thing i'll break it down uh by hp right the main thing, like before you even start thinking about your box CC, you need to have gear on every single unit. Yes, every single unit in your box needs to have gear. Most likely or most preferably HP defense gear. As you can see, all my proper geared units are up top here. And then as we scroll down, you'll see the discrepancy get lower as I just start having random pieces of uh, HP defense gear some attack sets just because uh, i do have some bits uh, awakened so uh, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna switch them for hp but if we just scroll down you can just see that like i just have hp sets on every single unit and if you notice something you start to see a lot of like belts that are awakened to three star some orbs that are awakened to three star that's the main trick you're gonna do right to get higher cc because you're not gonna make you know you are hp gear for every single unit no that's crazy you're gonna make our gear specifically uh, these are units that i didn't have to awaken because i already got 3.5 million but if we just uh keep skipping these what you want to do is make hp defense gear for everyone you can make it r no i suggest you make it r not uc not c not sr not ssr r gear right for most of your units these are just all the units that i did not build because i don't have the need to when I want to push for, for a 4 million box CP, then I'm going to awaken these units. And the trick is, you are going to awaken them, right? To 3 star, the bottom row specifically, you are going to awaken it to 3 star. I'm just showing you uh, how much potential I still have if I ever do want to push for 4 million. But right now, I just do not have the, um, I do not have the necessary resources to push that far, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just uh, skipping till I get to a point where I have a lot of units with a three star bottom row then i can start to explain all right cool so what you want to do right you'll you'll uh obviously you're gonna need uh millions of gold to do this right this is really expensive you can't do this overnight or anything like that. this is very expensive very time consuming all your units like literally 95 percent of them hp defense right the bottom row should be r because we want to do this to the uh, the cheap way right i'm guessing a lot of people who are watching this video i'm guessing you're going to be anywhere between you know 1.5 million to 3 million box cp at most right i'm just assuming it that way the best thing to do is to get a bottom row that has r and just awaken it just to three star just to three star is enough i recommend two percent hp roll or more three star two percent hp rolls most preferably obviously this is 1.9 but you know i got lazy i couldn't give a shit and stuff i just left it at that do that for pretty much most of your units if you do have a lot of units level 80 you do have a lot of cosmetics you do have a lot of max ultimates 
it's going to make life easier. Obviously, having lots more UR gear is going to be very, uh, very good. Uh, let me break it down in a way that uh, where how can I show the um, the uh, I don't know I, now that I'm in here I don't know how to show it man yeah that thing that shows um, all your units uh, CC I think it's in a the guild function I'm gonna just go over there and show it yeah that's the main thing you want to do right and that's pretty much all you have to do if you want higher CC for the love of God make so much uh, uh, by the way if anyone um, was curious that is actually my uh, my highest uh, current CC 216.8 I can't get a uh, actually I can get much higher than this if I really wanted to I could potentially push to maybe 220k it's just gonna take me a uh, an incredible amount of grinding that I'm just not willing to, to do right now what you want is uh, for eventually your box to look something like this when it eventually loads all your highest CC units are gonna be up here uh, my Lost Vein Meliodas is actually a 48k with an attack set because he has the highest CP in the game. But I do have two of his pieces equipped to my Link Dian for a king. Maybe I'll switch out later. But yeah, my highest current CC, 3.5 million, 1k. That's fine. But what you do want to see is all your highest CP units are going to be up top. And as you slowly go down, you'll start to see units in the mid 30ks, right? The mid 30ks, these are going to be the units that you've made decent gear for. And then the further you scroll, the more trash there's going to be, 25Ks. And then eventually at the bottom where you haven't made them in gear, there's going to be the 21s to 24Ks. That's that's pretty much it. That is pretty much the best way to do it. You could potentially do it with SSR gear if you want to future-proof your gear for the push to 4 million. However, it's very unlikely that, most, that anyone watching this video is ever going to push for 4 million because that's just going to require too much work. So, yeah. Just heed my uh, heed my words. This uh, CP buff is so important. It's so good. It's so clutch. It pushes your CP in every aspect possible, in all game modes. So yeah, just make sure that when you do start this, you might want to you know do it all in one go. You might want to do it bit by bit. Just be aware, it's gonna cost you millions of gold, millions and millions and millions of gold. Me, I did a hundred million in the, uh, the gear gacha. I did 100 million there and that was my base starting point to equip gear on all my units and even from that 100 million I did not have enough HP defense gear to equip to all my units. I think it took me around another 35 million after that to have a uh, HP defense gear on every single unit so I can start working and then after that that's when I had to um, start getting uh, three star awakening stones that's the thing now if you do gear gacha right it's just going to make this so much easier. You, you are going to need millions of gold, like, no, you're going to need over, to do this process, you're going to need, like, minimum, minimum 200 million gold, right, to invest all of it into uh, building your box, that's me assuming that you want to build to 3.5, you want to build to 3 million, maybe even lower, you want to build to, I don't know, 2 million, 2.5, whatever, whatever it is you want to build towards, just be aware that you will need a fundamental, like, just a huge amount of gold, a huge amount of uh, three star awakening stones and also a huge amount of uh, red stones yeah red stones you're gonna need a ton of these funnily enough i had around nine nine thousand when i started and by the time i ended i had about three thousand so you don't need that much just because uh, that's why we are awakening the r gear you get decent stats it's easy to build it doesn't cost too much gold and the materials, uh, not the materials, but the three star stones that you need, you can easily get them. Because if you are doing gear gacha, which I recommend you do for this, you are going to get a shit ton of stones, right? You're going to get a shit ton of level four stones, uh, level three stones. And then what you can do is transmute your level fours down to level three. And that way you will have more than enough because we have two, right? This two is actually four because you just transmute it down, it doubles. That's an easy way to get lots of um, three star stones to awaken your box. And uh, if any global players are watching this, I mean, you guys won't really need to worry about this too much just because it probably won't come anytime soon. It might come soon because uh, we know that global's uh, release schedule is uh, pushed forward very hard. Like you guys are several months ahead of schedule in terms of uh, where the game is at currently. But if you do want to heed this advice, if you do want to start super early, I'm not going to recommend it for global players because you are, most of you guys are still working, you're still building, you are still, you know, uh, 
making unit 75 uh, making ssr gear and stuff you don't need to heed this advice but to all my jp players please get started on this the buff is so important i cannot stress it enough having more hp never hurts it, it never hurts in any like scenario ever also giving you a huge uh, huge advantage in pvp because uh, that's how people now are getting like incredibly high cc in geared and ungeared their units being so tanky it's just because of this hp buff man literally you have hp food equipped without actually using the hp food it's just so good so it's just it's a game changer in my honest opinion before at the top level where i play people were you know around between 200 to 215k at most when they're doing pvp now there's people that are 220 230k cc even me my best current pvp team the uh the lost vein meliodas dian team with that team i am 220k cp just because i got to 3.5 million so like i said can't stress this enough please get started it doesn't it doesn't have to be done straight away you don't have to do it like me where you rushed uh, 3 million you was at 3 million and then pushed to 3.5 million in the space of five days i grinded super hard it was so so fucking boring awakening uh you know our gear over and over again for 80 different units is incredibly boring but in the end the reward is future proof and it's very worth it if you want just start you know bi building bit by bit you know maybe do some gear gacha equip some of the uh, the hp defense uh, pieces that you pulled equip it to your units from there you can just build it slowly it doesn't have to be you know there's no like big event that needs you to have a lot of hp like it's just it's a bonus you do not need it but it's a very very nice bonus so anyway guys hope you do heed my advice on that one keep it in mind and i do hope that you start building your box asap don't have to build it completely don't have to try hard it like me but just start slowly building it anyway guys hope you uh hope you enjoyed this advice take care and i'll see you in my next video